doubt that this is the most anticipated sneaker of 2024. We've been waiting a couple months for these to release and they're almost here. So I decided to do a little wear test. Now I don't do the traditional sneaker reviews here on my channel. I like to buy shoes that I think a lot of people are interested in and I like to wear them for X amount of days to see how they really, really feel, how they really, really break in and whether or not they're worth your hard earned money. And this sneaker right here was definitely one that I had to do because a lot of people are interested in this shoe, but a lot of people are wondering if this shoe holds up against the original version of the Bread 4 that isn't leather on the upper. So let me take you guys back a week ago when I started this experiment and we picked up our pair from our guy at a stock kicks. It's still crazy to me that I still smell the sneaker right away. Like I don't even do it on purpose. It just naturally happens. But yeah, this really isn't my first impression of these because I had seen an early pair months back, but this is the first time seeing a pair straight out of the box that was mine. So I was a little excited. We did not waste any time. We put these straight to the toe when we went to go pick up our cyber truck. Got the breads on feet. First time new kicks with the new car. It's only right. Day one was simple. It was just like wearing a brand new pair of Jordan 4s. We know they're not the most comfortable shoe, but we also know they're not the worst. Thought it was pretty cool that I had a new pair of sneakers with my new car, and I had to do a little photo shoot with it because it was only right. That same night, I was actually flying out to Florida for the WWE Royal Rumble, so of course I was going to take the shoes with me and wear them ringside to watch the crazy event. <laughs> Yes, I am gonna be talking about the comparisons between this version and the previous versions and which one I think is better. So stay tuned for that. Now I was only in Florida for 24 hours, so I made it back home and I just started to wear the shoe for everyday use. Whether it was a target run or if I just wore them to go to the gym, these things were on my feet. Now I'm not actually wearing these to play basketball, but might as well take some shots. Shoot down with the bar, bitch! But the real test came when it was a rainy day. I don't know about y'all, but I love rainy days. And today it is finally raining here in Southern California, which is a perfect, perfect, perfect situation. Now I can wear these breads in the rain. Because it's a leather upper, that is perfect. I would have never been able to wear my regular bread fours in the rain because that upper would get destroyed. So thankfully, the leather upper should hold us down. I'm actually super happy that Jordan Brand has been doing this whole reimagined series because they just take the classic colorways, add these twists, and majority of them are dope. Like even the Royal Reimagined, like a lot of people hated on them, but I feel like people will appreciate this whole series in the long run when they eventually stop doing it and hopefully they don't stop doing it because i love the concept and i think it's probably one of the dopest things jordan brand has done over the last few years so yeah man rainy day bread fours no problem at all so guys it's officially been a week since we've been wearing the bread for reimagines and i can give you an honest overall review of this shoe whether or not it's worth picking up if it's worth the price if it's worth the resell if it's worth the quality how does it hold up against the original non-leather upper pair of the bread fours let's get into it i gotta start off by saying man this shoe it was definitely worth picking up if you could get this shoe for retail i think you would be crazy not to cop them unless you don't have the funds then i totally understand but if you have the funds and you're looking for a pickup this shoe right here definitely worth cop in because one it's a classic colorway and two in my opinion it's not a better version of the classic colorway but it's a great version of a classic colorway because the leather upper is going to get way less dirty than the original upper of the bread four the original bread four upper it's a new buck right so if you scuff that or if somebody steps on your shoe it's going to leave a mark which you could probably wipe off but in some instances it might not come off the leather upper you could just clean it very very easily it just makes more sense for everyday wear i I guess it's it's gonna get less dirty as i mentioned it doesn't crease as much that's a whole nother thing this shoe i was expecting because of the leather upper to crease like crazy but when i'm looking at it right now bro it barely creases this is just seven days in y'all 
This is seven days in of wearing this shoe. Like obviously there is creases, but there's no like crazy creases. You know when sometimes like a Jordan Bruh. 1 or even in Jordan 4s, you wear them and the crease just ruins everything. I would say with this shoe, you don't really have that like standout crease. Well, at least not for me. And that makes me enjoy these even more. Like that made me appreciate these even more. So yeah, if you're expecting this shoe to crease like crazy, it's not really gonna do that unless you do some crazy stuff in it. But I'm looking at it after seven days and um and i was trying to crease these bad boys y'all see the footage as far as the fit goes one thing i noticed is that they do fit more like an original jordan 4 like they feel like they're a little bit higher here on the ankle area and they have a lot more cushion on the ankle area which adds a little bit more comfort i guess to the point where i kind of compared these to the sb4s in a way not maybe not as comfortable as the SB4s, but definitely it's up there, man. It might be more comfortable than the originals or the last pair of breads that came out or any fours that came out recently other than the SB4s. Like these things feel a lot more comfortable. So another thing I noticed too is they do fit a little tad bit big, but for me, usually with Jordan 4s, I go true to size. I know a lot of people size down, but for me, I go true to size and I would still recommend true to size in this shoe, but keep in mind, it's gonna be a little bit of a loose fit. It's not gonna be a big fit it's gonna be a loose fit you would have gone a half size up you might have too much room in the toe but if you go true to size it will be it will be perfect size but it's just gonna feel a little bit loose in there if that makes sense so i would recommend going true to size you could go a half size down I know a few people did that with the reimagined threes, but me, I'm gonna just recommend true to size. So yeah, these are definitely, definitely 100% worth retail price. I really don't know what resell is, but it can't be crazy just because we're in a time where sneakers just aren't really selling out. I do expect these to sell out because again, it is a bred Jordan 4. And if they don't sell out, that will be mind boggling. It will be prep preposterous if these don't sell out. I feel like this is a shoe that attracts the non sneaker heads, the people who just want classic Jordan colorway. Like there's people who are probably gonna hit me up who don't collect shoes and they're like, yo, how can I cop the bread for? It's like a cousin of mine or something. This shoe, I expect it to sell out. I don't expect it to be too hard to get. Like if you really do your research, find out who's releasing them, what raffles you need to enter, what lines you need to line up at, you should be able to cop a pair of these because I'm sure they did produce these like crazy. Because why not? Jordan brand loves money. Nike loves money. Why wouldn't they make enough pairs to take all of our money? But if you for some reason strike out everywhere and you have to pay resale for them. If you could get these for under 270, I think it's definitely worth it because this shoe is just gonna be a shoe that you could wear a lot for the next couple years. It's a shoe that I'm sure you can eventually sell for a great price even after you wear them. And that's just my personal opinion. Again, guys, I'm not a reseller. I'm just giving you some advice. So yeah, man, I'm actually happy I did this experiment because at first, I wanted these because again, it was a bread four, but I wasn't like too crazy on them. But now my whole opinion has kind of shifted where it's like, all right, I could wear these and not worry about them getting beat up. So these might be my new go-to breads. I still like the originals more as I mentioned, but this pair right here, even though I've already completed this whole seven day challenge or whatever, I think I'm gonna still keep wearing these. This seven day thing might become a 14 day thing or maybe not every day, but it's definitely gonna be heavy in my rotation moving forward. So now that we did this test and you watch this video, let me know in the comment section who's planning to grab these, how many pairs are you planning to grab, and whether or not you think these were worth the wait, because I know a lot of us have been waiting a long time for these to come back out, or actually not come back out, because technically it's the first time that they've come out with the leather upper, but we're just, you know what I mean, the bread fours. I really feel like there's not a lot of shoes this year that people are too hyped on, and this is definitely gonna be one of them. So let me know what other shoes you guys think I should do a wear test on. I don't like doing every shoe because I know that there's just not a lot of hype. Like even those threes that just came out today, the day I'm recording this, I was expecting those to sell out, but they didn't. So sneakers just aren't selling the way that they used to. The only other one I can think of is the military blue fours. Maybe I'll do those. And I hope y'all are enjoying this new YouTube series that I started trying to be consistent with it. I feel like I put out a few bangers, man. So let me know if y'all haven't subscribed already. Actually, I don't even care for the subscription anymore. So y'all don't even gotta subscribe. Just drop a like, drop a comment. That will definitely help me out with the algorithm. And another day, another sneaker, another video. I'm out.